Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Australia's Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm here today with Uwe Koenig, Malvern Panalytical's Head of Business Development for Mining and Metals. Malvern Panalytical specializes in advanced measurement and materials characterization, providing technologies and solutions to help understand and analyze materials. And today, Uwe will be discussing how Malvern Panalytical is supporting the mining and metals sector through innovations like ARIS and Revontium, with a focus on automation, ESG, and operational efficiency. Uwe, it's great to have you here today. Thanks, Dominic, for the nice introduction. Good to be here. So, Uwe, let's kick off by getting a, a big picture overview of how Malvern Panalytical supports mining and metals operations across the value chain and how ESG and automation are influencing this work. Of course. Well, look, um, Malvern Panalytical serves the mining industry in more than 40 or 50 years already at this time, uh, still under the name Philips, but we have quite a long footprint there. And one thing that is quite unique for us is we serve the industry from the beginning, from the exploration of new deposits until the end, the environmental footprint and everything that is in between. So taking out the material from the ground, but also processing it and helping the industry to control the process, but also to ensure the quality. And ESG, of course, is a very important topic in the last year. So we try to, to help the people to, to avoid hazardous materials in the tailings, in the, in the, in the element. We try to um, reduce the energy footprint that the mining companies have. So if they control the process more accurate, of course, they need less, less industry. With automation, which is a very important point, of course, we try to bring the people in a, in a safer place and also help with remote areas where mining takes place nowadays. And last but not least, um, industry faces a lot of more recurrent regulations and uh, norms that they have to fulfill. And of course, their very accurate analysis is very important. So the, the unique thing is, I think that we really serve from small systems that you can take into the field into process equipment, but also into completely automated laboratories to help to, to analyze the materials that need to be analyzed in the mining industry. Wonderful. So look, now let's take a closer look at the innovations driving that support. What are the key drivers behind the development of the ARIS and Revontium solutions and how do they address current needs in the mining sector? I like especially this question because it's the, a little bit the heart of my job in the company. I have to check um, what mining companies need in the next five to 10 years from now. So we were sitting together with, uh, with the leading mining companies some years ago, and there was one unique thing coming out. They need something compact that they can move very close to the process. It needs to be reliable. And that's why we came up with the errors and the Revontium, which are compact diffractometers uh, and uh, spectrometers that don't need a lot infrastructure environment and then you can put them very close to the process so that means you get a faster feedback um, you have less costs of course because you need less infrastructure and very important also um, we see that sometimes you don't have any more the top xrf xrd specialists in the laboratories so it even works for people that are not experienced with with, with the technologies to handle these systems and to run the yeah, the quality control and the process control. So what distinguishes the ARIS Compact XRD system, particularly with the new high capacity sample change? And who is the solution designed for? Well, the, the solution is designed for industry. So it's the mining industry. It's also other industries like the building materials, cement industry, but it needs to be robust. So it needs to be compact. It needs to be easy to use. And now, especially with the high capacity sample changer, it allows to run samples overnight or to allows to run samples in batches, which gives a lot of flexibility in the laboratory and to the people that are working in the laboratory. And as I said before, it is not only used in mining, it's a general industry diffractometer where it was uh, developed for. Shifting to Revontium Uve, what makes the compact XRF solution suitable for field and laboratory environments and, and which mining applications benefit most from it? Well, let's start with the, with the second part of the question. Um, it is an, for those who are a little bit more familiar uh, with XRF, it's an uh, ED XRF 
spectrometer that means uh, energy dispersive so it means it is very flexible that also covers a lot of different materials from the basic things in the iron or aluminium industry towards also critical minerals which are now very popular nowadays so speaking about copper or nickel that is that is that is used in the batteries and for for the energy transition so it's very flexible um and i would it's it's actually hard to say this is the application only for Rivontium because of, of its flexibility. What we try to do there is um, to, to close the gap between the really small benchtop systems that you can almost put on a truck and the big laboratory systems. So the Rivontium actually really covers the middle. It almost has, for some application, it even has already the performance of a big floor standing system. But it is again flexible. So no infrastructure needed, no no big chillers or, or or whatever is needed. So you can even put it close into the process, which is not possible with a lab system. So I think that's that separates it quite quite nicely from from the rest. Of course, hardware is only part of the equation. How do Aeris yeah. and Rivontium integrate into automated and connected analytical workflows, including compatibility with LIMS, robotics, and other systems? Yeah, so both are actually also exactly designed for this because we foresee that some companies might to use it alone standing. Some content companies want to have it automated, whether automated with another system, automated with a sample changer, or in a real big ro uh, automation system that uses robotics. So um, they are made for this. They can be integrated. They are able to transfer the data into limb systems. They are able to, to handle all the different softwares that the big automation suppliers, including our own, uh, can use. So we we made it for this. This was one of the, the targets we had to fulfill for the mining companies. Look, that naturally brings us back to ESG yeah. and long-term value creation. So in what ways do these innovations help mining companies meet ESG and reporting goals? And what future developments can we expect from Malden Panalytical in the space? Well, Coming to the ESG, I said already, not only that they don't need a lot of infrastructure and, uh, and save energy themselves, they help the, the mining companies to reduce their energy carbon footprint and whatever. So that's not only the energy consumption of the system or the, the, the chemicals that, that not need to be used anymore. Um, the other thing is when you analyze the process very accurately and especially also the tailings and the materials that are putting back in the nature it helps them to yeah to ensure that the environmental footprint is as it was before by uh, by um, making their processing more efficient and uh, better controlled look thank you uve fascinating yeah. stuff today i've been speaking with uve koenig head of business development for mining and metals at Malden. Panalytical. I'm Dom Hale. Thanks for watching.